A quick message, man, to all my young athletes, parents, coaches. Some may agree with it, some may not. Um, Y'all got to excuse my attire. Just got done. Give me a little workout in. But I just had this conversation with somebody yesterday. And I was telling them, when you dealing with a, with coaches or a coach who um, wants to be right in their mind and to everyone else about a particular player based on who they think that player is, they play with this one term called opportunity and they use it two different ways to always try to support their narrative the kid over here to the left who they got a negative perception of as a player maybe they think he's too arrogant or he's too lazy or he don't work hard enough or he's too small or he's too slow or he don't process information fast enough the easiest way for that coach to make himself appear right in his mind and to everyone else is to minimize that kid's opportunity just minimize it. Even if you feel like I ain't ready to play him right now. Or I can't play him in front of this kid because there's some politics in it. The quickest way for that coach to make himself appear right in his mind and to everyone else, just minimize this kid's opportunity. Now the kid over here to the right, the one that he believes in, the one he brought in, the one that he got his stamp on, the one that he needs to succeed. The fastest way for him to make himself appear right about that kid, same term, opportunity, is to maximize that kid's opportunity. Give that kid every opportunity to succeed and to prove him right and everybody else who he told this kid right here is going to be the next big thing. The kid to the left, the negative perception about, like the old saying goes, if you want to kill something, you start it. The kid over here to the right, like they always said, if you want to see some blossom and flourish, you feed it. Coaches, when they want to prove themselves right, they play with this one thing that they know they have control over, and that's opportunity.